first of all, congratulations. Um, you have been called to a sweet mission. Um, it's really diverse um, and it, it can be overwhelming um, when you hear about the culture, the language, the food, the, the climate. Um, there's, there's a lot that you'll get used to, but um, if I had any advice to give, um, <laughs> I'd say don't worry about it. Um, the, Lord, the Lord calls prepared people. Um, or the Lord prepares those whom he calls. Um, just throw yourself into it. Um, throw yourself into the work. Throw yourself into the people. Um, the Micronesia Guam mission is an obedient mission. Um, every island, every zone, every district, every companionship, um, it's very obedient. Um, and that is the way you're going to get the most blessings. Um, if, uh, if you're feeling worried, <laughs> if you're feeling concerned, um, then just know that that you're on you're on the Lord's team. Um, that you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of extra help, a lot of extra help while you're there. Um, just throw yourself into the work. the The worst thing you can do is kind of hide in your bubble um, when you get out there. It's a new culture. Love it. It's a new people. Love them. There are new foods. Just try them. <laughs> Eat them. Love them. By the end of your mission, you'll crave them. Um, there's a, uh, sure there's little things to do to get ready. I mean, bring a flashlight. I'd bring a waterproof camera. Um, but the most important thing to do is prepare spiritually. Um, prepare to testify about the gospel. Um, I, uh, I wish I had done more preparing before I left. I think every missionary says that. <laughs> you can't do enough preparing be, before you go on your mission. Um, whatever island you get called to, whatever companion you're with, um, you're there for a reason. Um, perhaps for you to learn something, as well as for the people you teach to learn something. Um, just, just be excited for it because it is going to be an awesome experience.